Clumsy Crab by Ruth Galloway Read by Robert Power Nipper the Crab hated his huge, clumsy claws. However hard he tried, they always got in the way. None of his friends had clumsy claws. He wished he had tickly tentacles like octopus and jellyfish, or flippity fins like turtle and the fish. One day, Nipper was playing catch the bubble with his friends. Pop! His clumsy claws pricked the bubble and it burst. They couldn't play that game anymore. They played chase instead. Nipper scuttled off sideways, but one of his clumsy claws got in the way. Whoosh! He slipped and stumbled, tripped and tumbled until he was buried up to his eyes in sand. Turtle had to dig him out. They all decided to play hide and seek. Crab climbed into a big clam shell and pulled it shut. It was the perfect hiding place until... Crack! Nipper's clumsy claws shattered the shell into hundreds of tiny pieces. Ouch! he cried. Nipper sighed. If only I didn't have these claws, I'd be good at hide-and-seek. Don't worry, Nipper, said Jellyfish, picking up the pieces of shell. We'll hide and you can find us. Nipper counted to ten, then set off to find his friends. He searched in the sand and he found Turtle. He searched under the shells and found Jellyfish. He searched up and down and in and out of rocks, but he couldn't find Octopus anywhere. Then he heard a cry. Octopus was tightly tangled in some seaweed. Help! Octopus squirmed and squiggled and wriggled and jiggled. Turtle and Jellyfish tried to help, but the knots just got tighter and tighter. Nipper had an idea. He gently snipped at the seaweed with his claws and small pieces floated away. Faster and faster, Nipper danced around the clump of seaweed. His claws moved quickly, slashing and slicing, shredding and dicing, until the sea was filled with pieces of seaweed swirling all around. Octopus was finally free. Thank you, you clever crab, he cheered. Nipper waved his claws happily. At last he knew how useful they could be.